Hello and welcome to this video on LT Spice. Today we will study passive filters. These filters are filters that combine resistors, inductors, and capacitors. We will start with a theoretical part and see some basic tools to understand the cutoff frequency. Then we will study an example of a low pass filter with an RC circuit. We will do three simulations with the directive point AC in the frequency domain. The first one will concern the low pass filter with an RC circuit we will have studied. Then we will quickly observe a high pass filter with an RC circuit and finally a band pass filter with an RLC circuit. Before going on LT Spice, I want to remind or give you some basic tools on the cutoff frequency. The first notion is the transfer function. Let's consider the following circuit. So here we have a linear circuit and a voltage source U in that supplies this circuit. And then we will study the voltage between two points of the linear circuit uh, that's called U out. As we have a linear circuit and a sinusoidal signal, we can use the complex. And here we have u in and u out in complex. Then we define the transfer function as a gain voltage. So h is equal to u out out of u in. And here we have the amplitude of h and the argument of h. To express the ratio of u out and u in, we define h in db. So it's equal to 20 times log the amplitude of h. If u out is greater than u in, the amplitude of h in db is greater than zero. And this is an amplification. If u out is smaller than u in, h in db is smaller than zero, and this is an attenuation. In this table, you have some important values uh, for um, the decibel. Uh, the decibel is very useful to simplify calculation in this um, domain, but I won't go into details in this video because um, this is not necessary for um, yeah, this video and we don't have um, the time to do this. And then here we have uh, the cutoff frequency. So we define the cutoff frequency as the frequency for which the signal is plus or minus 3 dB of a stable value. So for example, let's consider um, a circuit like this and we study uh, h and we obtain this red curve for h in db so we can observe that here we have a stable value at 0 db so it means that uh, the amplitude of u out is equal to the amplitude of u in and then at the frequency of 150 hertz um, we obtain minus 3 dB. So as we have an interval of 3 dB, we can say that this frequency is a cutoff frequency. Now, to, um, we can use um, these notions in this example, so a low pass filter with an RC circuit. So for the linear circuit, we will consider a resistor R and a capacitor C here. And um, U out is the voltage and the capacitor. Firstly, let's write the transfer function H equal to U out out of U in. U out is the current times 
um, the impedance of C and U in equal to the current times the impedance of R and C in series. And finally, we obtain this formula. Let's analyze this. If omega is equal to 0, h is equal to 1. So the argument of h is 0 and the amplitude of h in dB equal to 0 dB. It means that u out is equal to u in in this case. Then if omega is equal to 1 out of rc, so let's define this omega 0, h is equal to this. And the amplitude of h in dB is equal to minus 3 dB. So because if we look at this table, so the square root of 2 out of 2 is equal to minus 3 dB. And as here we have 0 dB and here minus 3 dB, we can define the cutoff frequency f0 as omega 0 out of 2 pi, so 1 out of 2 pi time um, rc. And finally, when omega goes to infinity, the amplitude of h tends to 0, and as 1 is negligible, when omega is multiplied by 10, the amplitude of h is divided by 10. And if we look at this table, when h is divided by 10, it means that we lose 20 dB. So um, when omega goes to infinity, we lose 20 dB per decade. And also the argument of h is equal to this and it will tend to minus 90 degrees. Something important in electronics is to see how our circuit will behave without um, doing these calculations, so more intuitively. To do this, let's consider this page. For the resistance, the impedance is constant, it's equal to R. Then, for the inductance, the impedance is equal to J omega L. So at a low frequency, we have um, a short circuit. Because, for example, if omega is equal to zero, um, the impedance will be equal to zero. At a high frequency, it behaves as an open circuit. Because, for example, if omega is very large, the impedance will be very large. We have also the same logic for the capacitance, but at a low frequency, it behaves as an open circuit and at a high frequency as a short circuit. Let's come back um, to this circuit. So at a low frequency, the capacitor behaves as an open circuit the circuit will be blocked so we won't have any current and any voltage drop in the resistor and u in will be equal to u out and that's what we've calculated here at a high frequency the capacitor will behave as a short circuit so in this case, u out will tend to zero. And that's what we have here. Here is the RC filter we've studied with the voltage source configured like this. So the small signal parameters with an AC amplitude of one volt. And we use the directive point AC with natural sweep decade, 100 points uh, per decade. Uh, the start frequency is 1 Hz and the stop frequency 100 kHz. Mm. 
now we will observe V out. Here is a board diagram. So the x-axis, we have the frequency in the logarithmic scale. On the left, this is the amplitude of the transfer function of V out, out of the reference voltage in dB. The reference voltage seems to be one volt. As we want the transfer function V out, out of V in, and V in is equal to one volt, we don't need to divide V out by V in. But if you want to be sure to have this transfer function, you can also divide V out by V in. And on the right axis, uh, we have the phase of um, the transfer function. Okay, I attach a cursor on the function. And if you remember, when the frequency is equal to um, 0 Hz, h is equal to 1. So um, here we have 0 dB and also um, the phase is equal to 0. So that's what we have calculated. Um, then when um, f0 is equal to 1 out of 2 pi times rc, so in this case it's equal to 160 hertz, we have the cutoff frequency and we should have minus 3 dB and a phase of minus 45 um, degrees, so let's see. And yeah, that's, that's correct. And finally, when we go to infinity, we should have um, the amplitude uh, of h should tend to, to zero and the argument of h to minus 90 degrees. Um, so if the amplitude of h tends to zero, it means that in dB, it should tend to um, minus infinity. And yeah, that's what we have. So here we can easily observe that this circuit is a low pass filter because low frequencies can pass and then high frequencies are reduced. Before continuing, if we want to confirm that this green result corresponds to the calculation of the transfer function h, we can do this and select this expression. So this is the expression of the transfer function calculated. And we can see that both results are the same. We will do the same simulation with this new RC filter. We've just uh, switched the resistor and the capacitor. Here we won't uh, do any calculations, but we will try to understand it intuitively. For low frequencies, the capacitor behaves as an open circuit. So the capacitor blocks the circuit and V out should be zero. Then at high frequencies, the capacitor behaves as a short circuit, so as um, a wire. And in this case, we should have V out equal to V in. So run and V out and we find what we've predicted and if we go to a frequency of 160 Hertz we find minus 3 dB so the cutoff frequency. This circuit is a high pass filter because 
high frequencies can pass and low frequencies are reduced. Finally, we will study this RLC circuit with V out under resistor. At low frequencies, the capacitor behaves as an open circuit and blocks the circuit, so V out is equal to zero. At high frequencies, the inductor blocks also the circuit and V out is equal to zero. But we can select a capacitor and an inductor, such as in a certain interval of frequencies, they both don't block the circuit, and that involves a voltage drop on the resistor. We can observe this phenomenon here, and in this interval, the capacitor and the inductor behave as a um, short circuit and V out is equal to V in in this case. So this RLC circuit is called a bandpass filter.